Achoo. Oh, would you look at that? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to open them. All right, well, you know the procedure. Let's just start. Uh, I, th I, I don't, I'm not really sure what titles we have in here. Well, I know what's in here, and I know a couple of these, but have quite a few things on the way right now, so could be a number of things here. So it's going to be a bit of a surprise for me. All right, so here we have another volume of Neon Genesis Evangelion. This is the first volume. So let's see. I have one, two, three, five, and six. So I have. Well, I need. I think another two, maybe. Uh, well, no, actually, I have one more. Yeah. Anyway, but I, th I think I need two, two more, and then I can watch this show. But one of those volumes on Amazon right now, I have it on my wish list. I think it's about. 25 pounds or something so you know I'm not gonna be paying that much I'm gonna <laughs> I mean it, we'll see how long it takes before it goes down in price I mean you never know but it could take a while but I guess I'm not really in a hurry but whenever I do acquire the, the other two that are remaining then uh, yeah oh um, and now I'm just opening it out you know out, out of frame here anyway <laughs> this is um, Paul and Pauline Calf's Cheese and Ham Sandwich. Alright, well this is a Steve Coogan DVD. I think this is a follow-up to another DVD where he does these two characters. I just picked this up where I, I just picked this one up right now because it was I think a penny, so well you can't get it much cheaper than that, so <laughs> uh, the only way really is if if uh, the pound gets weaker and I you know, I have I don't have to pay as much for shipping, but anyway, who cares? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but this is um, well, it's Steve Coogan. I, I've, I've I've added a bunch of his stuff on my Amazon wish list, and I just kind of check back now and then, and I pick pick up the ones that are cheap. That's how I roll sometimes. Anyway, uh, next, I actually still haven't seen a whole lot of Steve Steve Coogan comedy. Uh, that is not Alan, Alan Partridge, so I'm not sure if everything else kind of holds up or if it's well. I don't know. We'll see eventually. So here we have a cool documentary. Well, I don't know if it's cool. It sounds kind of cool, but it's called Overnight, and it's about this guy who um, I guess overnight he became. I'm not sure if he became a celebrity exactly, but he got this deal uh, to direct the Boondock Saints. He was like. A nobody, and uh, he hadn't really done anything before. I'm not exactly sure what the backstory is, but it sounds really interesting. I, of course, I'm gonna find out by watching the movie. But it's something like that. He, he he's he's just a, ra a regular everyday guy, and he wrote a script, and he got mil millions of dollars to make a movie out of this script, which was probably unprecedented, and uh, that's why there's a documentary about it. It just sounds pretty cool, like how how he got this deal or whatever to make a big budget movie not having done anything at all before I think I don't think he had anyway so it's gonna be pretty cool to check that out <clears throat> and here we have another documentary this one I'm really excited to check out Lost in La Mancha which is a, an unmaking of <laughs> Uh, the unmaking of Terry Gilliam's Don Quixote, Quixote something like that. Uh, well, it's basically the project failed. Uh, I don't know if they started filming, or well, it kind of looks like they did, based on these two pictures here. But uh, yeah, I mean, he wanted to adapt the book Don Quixote. I think that's that's what the book is called. Well, anyway. Um, but uh, things didn't really, well, they fell apart <laughs> somewhere along the lines in production. And um, yeah, but I've heard news now that he actually maybe will get to make the movie finally. I don't know when this movie was from, or when this documentary was from, 2002 it says. So it's been quite a few years since he um, tried to make an, his adaptation of that novel. But uh, so w anyway, so it's gonna be fun to to watch this and see why things fell apart, and then it's gonna be fun to kind of follow the news on whether or not he will actually get to make it one of these days. Anyway, 
we have two more and then we have this one which I know what this contains but here we have Will and Grace season 4 pretty well fairly shitty condition well I don't, well okay yeah what's well, it's you know you get these pieces of plastic great so it's not um, uh, in a great condition anyway no, I think it goes like that uh, well anyway so the discs aren't really in there altogether but uh, and and god damn it well this was really cheap this was a penny as well and I just wanted to continue watching the show um, but yeah actually I think I will just put this disc in one of one of these sleeves here I guess I could have done this after the video but now I've started doing it so I just uh, but but anyway I have three of these seasons obviously and I've it's been a while since I watched it but I kinda I wanted to continue with this show it is kinda funny it's not one of my favorite sitcoms but it's um, it's not bad uh, and since this was just a penny I just thought that I would pick it up and keep enjoying this show. Kind of corny sitcom, but it's it's pretty funny. Uh, and then one more here. And this is a pretty pretty ugly looking DVD, but I'm happy to have this. A Buster Keaton double header. Two of his later features: uh, the Railroader and the Silent Partner. The Rail Rodder, I, I don't know exactly, I think it's a, it's not a silent movie obviously, because it's from the 60s, you know, just a couple of years before he passed away, I think. But there's no dialogue in the movie, so I don't know, maybe he tried to do something similar to what he used to do, although obviously he can't do the pratfalls and physical stunts and stuff anymore, but, um, I, I don't know, it's, it's a pretty short movie, it's like, I, th I think half an hour or something, and it just, I'm opening this now because I've, you know, heard that the, the disc was loose, but um, I, I don't know, he kind of, I don't know what it's about, but he's on a train, or some, not a train, but on some sort of track, and he's traveling, I don't know, I don't know, I, I, I'm not gonna, let's just not try to explain what it's about, because I don't know what it's about, so, <laughs> uh, anyway, and then there's, um, it just sounded funny, I, I've been curious about that for a little while, so, uh, and then it also has this, uh, The Silent Partner, which sounds interesting too, I'm guessing that's this one right here. Um, well, you can read the text here, but it's, I think it's a, yeah, a seldom seen episode of the anthology series Screen Directors, Screen Directors Playhouse from 1955. Uh, so, sounds pretty good, um, you can read what it says there, but yeah. So I will be watching that pretty soon. Uh, yeah, and then this one from Amazon US. I don't think I've ordered from Amazon US before because I risk... There's always that risk of having to pay for customs and uh, the shipping is a little bit more expensive because it has to ship overseas and stuff. But, uh, you know, as opposed to ordering it within the, the EU. But um, these things I managed to get for cheaper if I order them from the US and I did not have to pay any custom charge so we got some comedy I realized that there's mainly comedy in this update well shouldn't be surprised if you know me but but still um, well well yeah, anyway um, all right so let's start with with volume 8 of American Dad not much to add about this, I just, uh, you know, I like this show a lot, so I will continue watching it. <laughs> and then we have some Marx Brothers goodness. Uh, I mainly uh, wanted this one, the Marx Brothers TV collection, over 10 hours of TV appearances. Includes rare color home movies. Uh, dramatic performances. Yeah, this um, is uh, obviously in uh, you know the later career careers of the Marx Brothers, and I don't think they appeared 
on a whole lot of these uh, episodes and specials and stuff, TV specials, together, but uh, they mainly appeared, you know, individually. I mean, there's some specials or episodes of anthology series where only Chico appears or only Harpo appears, and probably a lot of them where only Groucho appears. Uh, so, not a whole lot of stuff where they're together, but um, yeah, basically stuff from the 50s and 60s, I guess. Uh, when their movie careers had sort of, you know, stopped or whatever, but TV had uh, become popular and so they were cast as a bunch of different characters in uh, various, I don't know, anthology series and uh, maybe game shows as well. They made various appearance, appearances on different game shows and uh, over 50 television appearances. Uh, so obviously I can't really summarize everything that's in here. Well, I don't, I don't know everything that's in here, but uh, I, I did look at, look some of the things up, and uh, a couple of these episodes were. Uh, I think Harpo he plays he he does a dramatic performance in a um, anthology series, and that sounded really good. I'll we'll probably probably start watching that, and then Chico he made a pilot uh for some sort of comedy pilot which sounded pretty interesting that i will check out too i don't really think that show went anywhere but um so just a bunch of obscure stuff that you may not have seen before all right i did open that <laughs> uh with the marx brothers in their later years uh when tv had come around but yeah so you have oh this is cool you have um you know descriptions of what's in here looks pretty detailed looks pretty pretty nice okay well that's that's that um, and then we have two Marx Brothers movies from a little bit later in their careers too but um, yeah 19 well not that late but 1940 and 1941 so they started making movies in 1929 so it's not that late but you know uh, but yeah, Go West and The Big Store, I've not seen these two. Um, but uh, they're not supposed to be two of the best Marx Brothers movies. But I, I'm sure I'll enjoy them. I haven't seen uh, a Marx Brothers movie in a while. Uh, well, not for the first time anyway. So it's going to be fun to, to do that. Some more Marx Brothers. Alright, so that's that. Um, I'm very happy to have this. I don't know how I missed this this box. This came out last year sometime, I think, and I just completely missed that there was that that it, <laughs> that this was released. Uh, I didn't know that it, that this was out. I just kind of happened to come across it, and I was like, "Well, that looks like something that I'm gonna have to get." So, yeah. All right. So some pretty good stuff here. Uh, but that's that. So thank you for watching.